Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 5 of Paper Mario. And although I don't have my border this time, that's because of the fact that uh, it accidentally got erased with the video. At least we could start chapter 1 finally after so long. Literally four parts in and we haven't started it yet. Well, part 5 we do. And we're introduced to a new enemy, the Koop... Well, it's not necessarily a new enemy. Bruh, you should know what a Koopa is by now. And I should know that I should not miss my uh, action commands, but I tend to do so. Not like I'm trying to. See, I don't know what the hell is with the sensitivity of the controller. I fixed the controller to where it actually... Um, let me go ahead and title this Koopa right here. Because if... Because everything I tattle from here on in, if I run into them, I'm cutting them out. So, with that said, I should mention that the sensitivity of the controller, I don't know what it is, but every time that I do a jump, oh, damn it, sometimes I pull it off, sometimes I don't. I'm not going to try to attempt to use a hammer against the Hammer Brother, because he's just going to go back to his shell. So with that said, let us continue the jumping on this Goom- Oh, now I get it done right! God damn it. Alrighty then. Let us move on. And I love that pose. I do miss that pose, but I love that pose. Nope. Nope. Let's get out of the way of that. Or not. Okay, we're cutting. Well, I had to cut that out in most of the battles because we've already seen all those enemies before. Including this one. So, what we want to get is this right here. This is going to make the world a difference later on, although I'll end up forgetting to use it or probably won't be able to push it in time. That's because of the fact that, well, again... I don't know what it is, a sensitivity or something like that. I thought I fixed that, probably didn't. I'll check after I'm done with these batch parts. But for right now, our focus is to go to the Koopa Village. Because here's the thing, we won't be able to get to the Koopa Brothers Castle in general without our new party member. And we need to get this tree first. Get the tree, oh god damn it. Well, that was a Koopa, so we've already actually seen this. So with that said, that's why I cut a majority of the battles. But once we get into Koopa Village, we won't be cutting because unfortunately, there's a new enemy there. Well, I wouldn't say unfortunately, but fortunately there's a new enemy there. However, that Fright Jar I picked up earlier, that is to make enemies run away. And I'm pretty sure you've seen... Uh, well, actually, no, you haven't seen the Fright Jar, but the Fright Jar basically would be a good thing to try to lower random encounters, like, get rid of any enemies that's afraid of, um, okay, it's susceptible to fear, that's what I meant to say, damn it, any enemy susceptible to fear, just make it quick, easy, and painless, that's basically going to be the lesser enemies, but I'm going to probably have to... Uh, come back to Toad Town later on. I don't want to because that's a long trip back, but I may have to go back to Toad Town or maybe Koopa Village just so I can get all the sleepy sheep I can and put it in a box because again, there is a boss later on that will need sleepy sheep in order to defeat him. And by the way, why am I running around this thing? Uh, real simple. If you run around it a little bit, I think this controller is not sensitive enough, but if you run around, it'll pop out hearts until it ends up popping out coins as well. I don't remember if it popped out a star, uh, a shine, I mean a star, a star piece, that's what I meant to say. I don't remember if it pops out a star piece or not, but it does pop out coins. Oh, right. Um, let me just go on ahead and get this out of the way and I did sh I didn't show off power jump but if I did well there's power jump I should have showed it off and I should have skipped this boss I mean this fight too 
but unfortunately I did not. Oops. But good news is, we're getting closer and closer to level 3. And that's basically what we need, level 3. How should I put this? We need to be at level 5 by the time we get out of uh, the Cooper Brothers Palace. And might as well keep this one in too, because I haven't shown off the Fright Jar. Might as well. And the Fright Jar, of all things, which is why I love this thing, is to where Bowser shows up and scares enemies. <laughs> Just the vicious of this visage of Bowser in a jar is enough to scare any enemy to run away. I mean, he is on demon time in this game, but I can't say the same about, I would say, uh, Paper Mario Sticker Star or... Yeah, yeah, Paper Mario Sticker Star because he doesn't have uh, any lines or anything with... The oh, I accidentally took one of my honey syrups. Damn it! <sighs> but... We won't be able to get there, not until we get to Koopa Village. Hell, we won't even get that uh, item until we get to Koopa Village. Oh, and don't think you can jump in the water because you can't. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't jump in the water. Well, no, you can't jump in the water at all. Even though you do get a partner that could swim... You can't jump in the water here for some reason. I don't remember if you can or can't. I mean, not without that partner, obviously, but still. But in this chapter alone, you get two. You you get two partners. I mean, you got one in the prelogue, and then you got one. No, you got two partners here, and one of them we're getting right now. The thing of the matter is, we got to deal with the trouble that's here, and said trouble is the fuzzies. Yeah, these assholes. <laughs> I'ma tell you, the fuzzies are probably my least favorite enemy in Paper Mario, bar none hands down, because without Super Guard, these bastards are really tough to deal with. Or should I say without Zap Tap, these bastards are hard to deal with. Because Zap Tap would literally make your life a lot easier. Problem is, you don't get Zap Tap until after Chapter 2, or at least the beginning of Chapter 2, actually. And Zap Tap is a really good uh, badge. Now, here's the thing I don't rescue all the Koopa's shell because I forgot to rescue the one that you have to chase after the fuzzies. You could smack the fuzzies and get them out of the area and go into the uh, Toad House to get rid of the fuzzies that are there. But if you get all the shell, I think if you get all the shells for the Koopas, you will get a star piece if I remember. I and it's gonna come and bite me in the ass because I didn't remember that part. I'm just not remembering it now. Oh, but that particular bush gives you a Koopa leaf, and I really want to save that because I think it only spawns like once every visit. Because you need that, and you also need to uh, bring that to Tasty. Yes, you gotta bring that to Tasty in order for you to cook that for Koopa Tea. And let me assure you, ladies and gentlemen, Koopa Tea is actually fantastic. But there's just one small problem. It's also a part of a trouble. A trouble for one of the most annoying characters in the game. And that is Koopa Koot. I call him annoying for a reason. The reason being is... Oh, we gotta kill... Uh, we, here's the thing. This is the fuzzy that I was referring to. I can't just dash into him like talking about it. He's just gonna run around in circles going every which way except for where I need to go. And it makes me frustrated. That particular one... I was thinking, hey, I could go get Koops and I could deal with this. Uh, that's going to come back and bite me in the ass later. Because I might end up missing a star piece, but there are certain uh, badges that I could get that I could just easily beat the game without this, no problem. Because let's be honest, this is probably the easiest Paper Mario in the game. In the series. The whole series. 
this is the easiest Paper Mario. Because Super Paper Mario is hard. A uh, Thousand Year Door is hard in his own right. Sticker Star is a pain in the ass. I have not played Color Splash and Origami King, so that's why I say Paper Mario is the easiest one. I mean, if anybody could donate a Wii for Color Splash, I mean Wii U, sorry, for Color Splash, or donate Origami King, that would be awesome. But... I have not played Origami King, nor... Us, uh, uh, nor, uh... Color Splash, so... I would not know how difficult those games were. But I have, however, played Sticker Star, and yeah, it can be brutal. Especially if you don't know what to do. <sighs> so, with that said, I am just on the verge of giving up and letting this Koopa just be without his godforsaken shell. Now, if I remember how to do this, this would be awesome, but I didn't. So, yeah, it's been a while since I played this game. Like, last time I played this game was... Uh, 2017, I think? And that was before my N64 stopped working. So, yeah. There's that. Ah, uh, if there was only a way to catch that stupid thing. <sighs> and... I just gave up and just went after Coops. This is... Oh, not Coops, Cooper, by the way. This is our new party member, mind you. Funny how all the, uh, Koopas have, like, tank tops, because they got their uh, shells stolen. <clears throat> and that has been a thing since Super Mario World. When the Koopas lose their shell, they're in their tank tops crawling about, miserable and pissed off. Oh, right. Fuzzy. I hate these things. I hate these things so much. They regenerate by latching onto you, and that's the whole reason why I say Zap Tap is definitely your friend when it comes down to these things. Because they've got a, a worse variant in Chapter 5, which is a pain in the ass itself. So yeah. If you want to actually avoid these things, go get a Zap Tap badge. Apparently you will. Like, again, right before or after Chapter 2, whichever one comes first. Because I think the Bash Shops will be available right after this particular um, chapter. Because I do manage to... I think it's going to be Part 7. I beat Chapter 1. And there will be an interlude for that. But yes, the Bash Shop will be available by Chapter 2. Now for the fun part, which this is actually the easiest minigame. Just keep your eyes on the prize, and just watch where they go. It's not that hard. You don't even need to pause. All you gotta do is just simply keep your eye on the blue shell, which, it'll be easy because the, the fussy makes it so damn obvious. You can just see the blue. And he went to the third one. That's number two. And if you miss one of these, by the way, you gotta do this all over again. Just saying. Now, you can barely see it, but he's right here. I happen to see him. Just barely, but he just went back to this tree. And we got Cooper Shell. And... We're done with the fuzzies. Not yet, actually. We just gotta give Cooper a shell. So on that note, let's go on ahead and do that. And we'll also be introduced to Cooper as our new party member. And funnily enough, Cooper is in fact the blue shell. Oh god. For those of you who aren't too keen on Mario Kart, 
Blue shell normally means that it is a heat-seeking missile that goes after first place. And we have that weaponized in Cooper. So yeah. I mean, he does get a lot better, but I think uh, Cooper might not be able to take care of aerial enemies. Ground enemies, no problem. And this is a butt thou must anyway, because you need Cooper in order for you to get to the uh, next area. So try to leave, but before you do, you, I would say check the bushes, but I don't think there's anything in the bushes. I would say before you do, you run into the fuzzies. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, guess pow block or sleepy sheep. One of the two. Sleepy sheep would be the best idea, and I wasted my sleepy sheep. But hey, there's going to be more sold over at Toad Town, so at least that's good. It'll be three turns, but we'll finish this off as quickly as we can. All right. And Mario, unfortunately, gets bit. Fuck that thing. I want to get rid of you first. Yeah, let's get rid of you. Oh, damn it. <sighs> He's just going to be back at full health, no problem. Damn it. Stupid fuzzies. God, I hate fuzzies so much. Uh... Let's just get some honey syrup and go for another power shell. There we go. Or shell toss, I should say. Power shell is the second one, but that's all right. We got it. We're now at 95 and we only need five more to level up. Yeah, you bastards, you better be good. And that is the end of our stay with the uh, fuzzies, and soon we'll end up leaving, but before we do, hold on, let's get up there. HP plus badge! I mean, will it be needed? Probably? I don't know. Oh, right, there are no curses in this game, so, yeah. And what curses am I referring to? I've already played Paper Mario at a Thousand Year Door, so that's what I was referring to. So if you beat the fuzzies and get all the shells back, I think it was that Koopa right there that gives you a shell. Oh, no, not a shell, I mean a star piece. And that will be as a thank you. And that's his wife. <laughs> so Colorado's wife is basically waiting for Colorado to come home. Oh, we'll meet that goofy bastard in Chapter 2. Trust and believe. So, oh, and he's also the highlight of Chapter 5, too. Mm. Now, if he would have went into the store and did something with the uh, fuzzies there, and also in the house, we probably would have gotten a star, I think. That would have helped, too. Or a star piece. But whatever the case, there's a toad house here, and we're going to go on ahead and take ourselves a nap. Oh, I didn't mean to climb on the table, damn it. I meant to take a nap. And that's exactly what we're going to do. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I will go on ahead and get myself some shut-eye. Because now that we've got Cooper, we've got a long track ahead of us. Ah, uh, we also got a shop too. But I'll see you all in the next episode of Paper Mario. As we go to the Koopa Brothers Castle in Part 6. This is RV Man 985 Peace out and take care.